Hello everyone, here I have another problem to deal with and um, we'll solve this simultaneously. x plus y equals 2, then x, y equals 2. So the question is, can this be possible that x plus y will give 2 and then x times y again will give 2? Let's see how we do, how we deal with this equation 1 and this is equation 2 but then from equation 1 why don't we make x the subject so that x will be equal to 2 minus y that is from equation 1 and we shall call this our equation 3 we are going to need this equation 3 when we get to when we get the value of y now, put this equation 3 into equation 2, so that in place of um, x, I'm going to write 2 minus y. Then this y outside will appear. This is equal to 2. Now, we will simplify what we have here. 2 times y, that will be 2y. Then minus y squared. This is equal to 2. Let's rearrange this. The one with the highest power should come first, and that is minus y squared. This is plus 2y. If I bring this here, it becomes minus 2. Everything is 0. But we are not expected to have negative coefficient, so we multiply each of these terms by negative 1. So this will turn to positive y squared. This will turn to negative 2y. This will turn to positive 2, and then there's nothing like negative 0, so we write 0 again. Now we have a quadratic equation. We will solve this by using the formula. What is the formula? y equals minus b, okay, this is b, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now if you're used to seeing x on the left is because x is always the unknown in the quadratic equation so if you're looking for y it is y that should be the subject if you're looking for k k would be the subject on the left now uh, y is equal to b b is minus 2 this number here is b so we're going to write minus minus 2 this negative here is this then b itself is minus 2 plus or minus then we go b squared is going to be minus 2 squared if we don't put it in brackets then it will be wrong minus 4 times a times um our our c is 2 right so that means i have 2 here then we divide all through by 2 times 1, which will still give us 2. Now, y is equal to negative, negative is positive, plus or minus. Minus 2 squared will give us 4. Minus 4 times 1 times 2, that will be 8. Then we divide this by 2. If we go ahead, y will be 2 plus or minus square root of negative 4 and this is divided by 2 now because we are dividing by a negative number the solution from here is going to be a complex solution so how do we deal with this uh, y will be 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 so that we can be able to find the square root of 4 and then get the imaginary number for square root of um, negative 1. This is divided by 2. So that um, y now will be 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So we multiply by the 2 from here. It gives us 2i. And then this is divided by 2. Do you know that this can be split in this form? y is 
2 over 2 plus or minus then we have 2i over 2 meaning that our y shall be 2 over 2 is 1 plus or minus 2 over 2 will still be 1 1 times i is i so we are saying that our y is equal to 1 plus i or 1 minus i so this is 2 in 1 value for y and for this y we'll be having the corresponding value of x and this is the point where we go back to our equation 3 our equation 3 is x equals um, 2 minus y now our x will now be remember we have our y1 to be 1 plus i and the next y to be 1 minus i so we'll use these two you know um, one after the other so this will be 2 minus y is now 1 plus i so that x will be 2 minus 1 minus i so this means that um, the negative here has opened the bracket so our x will now be 2 minus 1 is 1 then we have minus i so this means that um, if x is equal to 1 minus i then y is equal to 1 plus i we have this then we go to the second when x is equal to 2 minus y then we have our x to be 2 minus open bracket again this time our y will be 1 minus i so if we open then x will be 2 outside negative will open this to get um, 1 plus i then this means that x is 1 minus 1 again 2 minus 1 is 1 then plus i so we are saying that x now is 1 plus i as y is 1 minus i thank you by this we have solved this problem into detail but it is obvious that um, it does not have a real solution because this i here indicates that it is a complex solution so our x plus y equals 2 and then x times y equals 2 is not possible in a, a real world thank you for watching